Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most important core concept of Spring, which is dependency injection. We are going to understand what is dependency injection with a practical example. Also, we are going to talk about what is programming to interfaces and what is loose coupling because these are kind of a interrelated to each other. Let us take an example of a loan processing system. Let us say any person can apply for loan and based on their credibility score, either we approve the loan or reject the loan. Let's say the loan request object contains a unique request ID and then person details and a unique ID identifying the person. And we have loan service and there is a method called apply for loan passing the loan request object. And here we are depending on background verification service and calling the get score method by passing the person's unique ID. And that method, that method get score method will return the score. And if it is less than three, we are going to approve the loan. Otherwise, we are going to reject the loan. So if you go into this class here, background verification service verifies the loan requester credibility score by talking to an external service. And here the get score method takes the person's unique ID and talk to the service and then uh, return the score. But the thing is, this is a paid service. Assume we are using a paid service. So the problem is, let's say there are many problems with this code. Looking at the loan service, if you want to test the behavior of loan service, okay, for unit testing, Right now, out of the box, we don't have a facility to mock background verification service. Of course, you can say, I'm going to use Mockito or some other uh, uh, library which is capable of for creating an object and inject the uh, dependencies using mocks. Fine. But what about the uh, QA environment or even dev integration environment where you are uh, supposed to deploy your application and then uh, verify it? Ideally, we don't want to pay for uh, all these uh, service dependencies during the development or QA or even low, any lower environments. We want to actually verify, in, let's say, in uh, some UAT environment or in production only. So in that case, with this code, it is not possible to customize that behavior because the loan service has a dependency on this background verification service and this loan service itself created a dependency by itself so it is not allowing anybody who is using loan service to inject its dependency it is by itself taken care of creating a, its own dependencies so effectively it is uh, rejecting the possibility of uh, giving the dependency to it so that uh, we can pass some mock service for loyal environments or for testing so it is not possible right now so what we can do instead of letting the loan service creating its own dependencies by itself we can take it as a input as a dependency through the constructor or using setter but i would strongly recommend to use constructor injection instead of a setter because uh, let's say user forgot to call the setter and it is a mandatory dependency without this dependency this functionality anyway is not going to work so in that case it is makes sense to uh, take the dependency through a constructor. <clears throat> so let's refactor this code. So now, if we want to test this loan service behavior, so here we have a loan service test and uh, we have this method, we are calling this uh, by passing this request object, but here in the setup method, we are constructing the loan service. Now it is giving error saying that it needs a dependency of background verification service. So now we can create a dependency of loan service, which is background verification service as a mock using Marketo. So first let us define background verification service and create it as a mock mock
and pass that mark as a dependency to background verification service. So for our testing, now we can mark the behavior of background verification service according to our requirement for this test case scenario. For example, let's say apply for um, should approve loan when score is greater than sorry less than three so this is the case so how do we mark it we can say give one btv service dot get score and pass this unique id will return let's say one because if it is less than uh, three it should approve the loan and right now it is not returning any value just for the sake of discussion let us assume it's going to return boolean if it approves it's going to return true and if it doesn't it is going to return false okay now you can say approved and you can verify asset equals or we can even simplify it as asset true approved okay so we can test like this and we can test the other scenario like a failure scenario uh, should reject loan when score is greater than 2 and pass it as 3 and assert false okay so the point is we refactored the loan service instead of instantiating its own dependencies by itself we are taking them as a dependencies through constructor so that from our uh, test we are able to create a mark and then pass it to uh, loan service and then we can set the behavior the way we want to behave it. because we don't have a complete control over this external service we cannot uh, do anything about it if we use actual service so we are able to test it because we are passing a dependency and we are capable of uh, marking that behavior so this is how we can solve for testing but what about uh, QA environment or dev environment so any uh, lower environments we want to use some mocking behavior instead of uh, using the actual service how do we do that uh, for testing okay we are going to use mocks and we are uh, solving that problem but how about uh, lower environments right so that is when programming to interfaces come into picture here we see programming to interfaces right so instead of using it as a concrete class let us extract an interface from this class refactor extract interface and named as a background verification service with this method refactor yes So here, instead of directly depending the implementation class of uh, background verification service, so here this is refactored to use i background verification service, which is an interface. And right now there is only one implementation of it. But let's assume for our lower environments, we can implement a class saying mock background verification service
and you can implement in whatever way let's say you have a set of uh, unique ids for those you return some more than two uh, score for a set of uh, unique ids you can return less than three uh, score so that you can test the scenarios for uh, using specific person ids and while using in your lower environment maybe you can put a configuration saying that uh, <coughs> which I background verification service uh, needs to be instantiated and injected into loan service you can make it like a configuration in that way if you let us assume we have some configuration file and you can specify um, background verification service equals to uh, which one we want to use let's say I want to use this for production but for lower environments, you can say, I want to use mock background verification. Based on this configuration, you can instantiate uh, one of these classes and then use it. For lower environments, this is going to be used. And for actual production and UAT, this is going to be used. So that way, you can switch which implementation you want to use by using interfaces. And remember, this is not like a, a thumb rule for using interfaces for everything here we have a possibility and in fact we have the requirement uh, to have multiple implementation that is why we are creating an interface and having multiple implementations but there is one common uh, anti-pattern i would say like creating an interface for everything no if there are no possibility of having more than one implementation it is unnecessary to create interfaces and then implementations most of it named as uh, default something like that or i uh, background verification service impl so it is completely unnecessary um, additional thing uh, but here we have a need in lower environments we want to use some mock implementation but uh, for uh, production and uh, uat we want to use uh, actual service so that is the reason we created an interface and then let our uh, loan service depend on the interface instead of depending on the concrete uh, class so here now if you take a uh, look at our test again here we are not directly depending on this one uh, in fact we don't need to use this one we can say i background service so that way even for testing or even for uh, lower environments we have the ability to use different service depending on our needs so in this video we have seen what are the problems of directly instantiating the dependencies within the class itself and then we have seen how we can make it better by injecting the dependencies from the outside by passing through constructor arguments and we are able to test using mocks or um, we can also inject uh, different implementations depending on our needs so we have seen some part of what is the importance of dependency injection and how to uh, use constructor based dependency injection in the next video we are going to talk a little bit more about the dependency injection like it's not really magic how to use dependency injection in the next video we are going to uh, see how we can leverage dependency injection concept even without any framework and with spring so we are going to learn more about dependency injection in the next video stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you bye bye